Unit 4, Lesson 15, Volume of Prisms. Number 1. A pool in the shape of a rectangular prism is being filled with water. The length and width of the pool is 24 feet and 15 feet. If the height of the water in the pool is 1 and 1 third feet, what is the volume of the water in cubic feet? This drawing represents the rectangular prism that's being filled 24 feet long, 15 feet wide, and 1 and 1 third feet deep. 24 feet times 15 feet times 1 and 1 third is the same as 360 times 1 and 1 third or 360 times 4 thirds. 460 times 4 thirds equals 480 cubic feet. Number 2. A rectangular prism measures 2 and 2 fifths inches by 3 and 1 fifth inches by 2 inch. A. Priya said it takes more cubes with edge length 2 fifths inch than cubes with edge length 1 fifth inch to pack the prism. Do you agree with Priya's statement? Explain or show your reasoning. I disagree. 2 fifths inch is twice as large as 1 fifth inch. B. How many cubes with edge length 1 fifth inch fit in the prism? Show your reasoning. 2 and 2 fifths times 3 and 1 fifth times 2 divided by 1 fifth is the same as 12 fifths times 16 fifths times 2 times 5. 1920 cubes with edge length of 1 fifth inch would fit inside the rectangular prism. C. Explain how you can use your answer in the previous question to find the volume of the prism in cubic inches. Here's an example of a one inch cube. As you can see in green, there's five groups of one fifth edge lengths stacked across one edge length. There are 125 of these one fifth edge length cubes in a one inch cube. The answer from the previous question was 1,920. So 1,920 divided by 125 equals 15 and 36 hundredths. The volume of the rectangular prism is 15 and 36 hundredths cubic inches. Number 3. A. Here is a right triangle. What is its area? I've flipped that same triangle on its side so that you could recognize it as a right triangle. To find the area of a triangle, you're going to multiply one half times its base times height, or one half times height times base. Here I have it, one half of one times three fourths. So the area is one half times three fourths, which is three eighths centimeters squared. B. What is the height, h, for the base that is 5 fourths units long? Show your reasoning. Remember, to find the area of a triangle, you have to multiply 1 half the base times the height. And here, the height is unknown. So we have 1 half times 5 fourths times h. We know that the area is 3 eighths. So 3 eighths equals 5 eighths times h. 3 eighths equals 5 eighths times h. That's the same as 3 eighths divided by 5 eighths equals h, or 3 eighths times the reciprocal of 5 eighths, which is 8 fifths. So 3 eighths times 8 fifths equals 3 fifths. The height is 3 fifths centimeters. Number four. To give their animals essential minerals and nutrients, farmers and ranchers often have a block of salt called salt lick available for their animals to lick. A. A rancher is ordering a box of cube-shaped salt licks. The edge lengths of each salt lick are 5 twelfths of a foot. Is the volume of one salt lick greater or less than one cubic foot? Explain your reasoning. Less than one cubic foot because 5 twelfths times 5 twelfths times 5 twelfths equals 125 over 1,728, which is less than 1. B. 
B. The box that contains the salt lick is one and one fourth feet by one and two thirds feet by five sixth feet. How many cubes of salt lick fit in the box? Explain or show your reasoning. One and one fourth times one and two thirds times five sixths equals the volume of the box. That's the same as five fourths times five thirds times five sixths equals the volume of the box. The volume is 125 over 72. The volume of the large box is 125 over 72, divided by the volume of each cube, 125 over 1,728. We can find the answer to this division problem by multiplying by the reciprocal of 125 over 1,728. The answer is 24 cubes. 24 cubes fit in the box. Number 5. A. How many groups of one third inch are in three fourths inch? Three fourths inch divided by one third inch equals three fourths times the reciprocal of one third, which equals nine fourths or two and one fourth. B. How many inches are in one and two fifths groups of one and two thirds inches? One and two fifths times one and two thirds equals seven fifths times five thirds, which equals 35 fifteenths or two and five fifteenths or two and one third. Here's another way to do it. Seven fifths times five thirds, but you simplify it first. Five goes into five once, five goes into five once. Seven times one is seven. One times three is three. Seven over three or two and one third. There are two and one third inches in one and two fifth groups of one and two third inches. Number six, here is a table that shows the ratio of flour to water in an art paste. Complete the table with values and equivalent ratios. On the left hand column, I noticed that they went from a one to a four. So they had multiplied the one times four to make four. So I multiplied on the right hand column one half times four and that gave me two. Then I noticed that they went from a four in the left hand column to a one half in the left hand column. So four divided by eight equals one half. I needed to do the same to the two in the right hand column. So two divided by eight equals two eighths or one fourth. And finally, on the right hand column, they went from one half to three. So I multiplied the one half times six to get three and on the left hand column, I multiplied the one times six to get one. Congratulations, you have completed unit four, lesson 15, volume of prisms.